this morning, still no word on Robin Gardner, the missing woman from Maryland. It has been more than a week now since Gardner vanished, and authorities say they believe that she is no longer alive. Joining me from Washington is criminal profiler Pat Brown. Pat, good morning to you, and um, are you getting any sense of what authorities in Aruba think happened to her? Well, Alex, there's no question that she's not alive because Giordano himself, the guy she went down there with, said pretty much that. He said they went out snorkeling, and while he was with her, you know, she disappeared, she hasn't come back. So, clearly he's saying she went missing on his watch and therefore she's got to be dead. Now the question is, is she dead in the water, is she dead on the land? And uh, if he didn't help drown her in the water or she drowned accidentally, then they need to be looking all over Aruba to see if her body is stashed someplace and he was just trying to send them off the trail. Yeah. This is the same guy that was stopped from leaving Aruba, right? I mean, he just, this incident happens. Had he checked in with police or authorities afterwards or did he just go back to the room, pack up and take off? Well, he talked to authorities, and he said he'd stay hang around, but he obviously wanted to get the heck off the island. Uh, he claims it's because the mother had arrived, and he had no more purpose there. But uh, quite frankly, I think he wants to get out of there before he can get arrested, in which he is now in their custody. But if they don't find some physical evidence linking him to her disappearance or to a homicide, he is going to be able to walk away. And uh, that's the concern. They need to find something and find it quick. Does he have a history, a past history of violence against women? And if he does, can that help? keep him incarcerated so they can gather more information. I I don't know if they can help keep him incarcerated. I mean, just because some people say that he did nasty things to them, you know, doesn't mean that you're, con you know, connected to a crime. We've seen that so many times in, before where somebody gets to walk, even though we, we don't like them. Uh, and yes, he has a history. There's a lot of women who've come forward. He has domestic uh, violence on his criminal record. Women have said he's, they've, he's stalked them. He's videotaped them having sex. He's threatened them. One woman even said that he said he was going to basically going to get rid of her because the world would be better off without her. So he's a pretty scary guy. And unfortunately, uh, Robin, I don't know why she decided to go down with him. She might, must not have, well, maybe she knew his criminal record, but he obviously offered her something, paid her way down there, and um, maybe things got a little worse than I think she expected for being around with him. And, and what are friends and family saying about all of this? I mean, there are a lot of people who've thrown a lot of cold water on the prospect of every, even going snorkeling. Yeah, apparently she wasn't really thrilled with snorkeling, although I think sometimes people are a little bit wrong about that. You know, when a woman goes with a guy someplace and he says, oh, come on, you can go snorkeling with me, sometimes women will do what the guy says, even though they're not all that excited. But she really didn't have a thing for the water. She liked her hair. She liked her makeup. And from his story, it doesn't sound like they really were in the water. So my guess is he was just saying that to throw the police off. And uh, I think they're checking out the vehicle. They're checking out the hotel room. They're trying to see if anybody saw him. They put out posters every place. Did you see this guy? Did you see Robin? Hmm. To see if they can identify another location on the island where maybe he took her. Okay, Pat Brown, thanks for bringing us the latest. As you know, we appreciate that. Thanks, Alex.